a big part of our puppy training was focusing on uh, making the dogs uh, feeling comfortable in a crate or an enclosure and we started with a bigger enclosure instead of a crate uh, because obviously starting um, with a crate uh, is already like a, a big stress uh, if the puppy is never used to being restrained. Um, so what we did, we put a crate in the bigger uh, enclosure uh, but we still have these enclosures even now with the big dogs because there's always situations where you need the dog to be restrained. Uh, so we at home have a quite a big uh, enclosure like this one and we use it whenever we need to restrain the dogs while we have guests over or we're having dinner or we have a training session with one dog and I need to restrain the other dog. I always give lots of food uh, and praise them for every time they go inside the enclosure. Uh, because the focus is on building very positive associations again using food uh, with, uh, uh, with the enclosure. Okay. Uh, so, how I approach it is we, we started with uh, uh, training uh, calm behavior in the enclosure when I was present in the room with them, so not starting. Uh, the training locking them in the enclosure when they go away but starting when they present uh, with them in the same room because uh, I find uh, sometimes the dogs who are used to being in an enclosure only when uh, uh, the owners are away have problems uh, being restrained when the owners are present because they uh, uh, think well it's it's not fair you're you're here why I can't interact with you why you're not giving me attention so that's why we started with uh, training calm behavior and making the dogs understand that if they're in the enclosure I'm not interacting with them and they just need to settle and wait calmly and not trying to uh, make noises or trying to uh, escape uh, the enclosure and uh, therefore when they started feeling comfortable in it when uh, we were present in the room they easily transferred the same behavior when uh, we are away and can still stay calm and they understand that when they're in the enclosure they just need to uh, relax and uh, usually they, um, uh, they just chill, chill out or fall, fall asleep. So food, of course, is best to use to build a very positive association with being uh, restrained in the enclosure. So long-lasting chews or treat dispensers, um, obviously the favorite toys and the very comfortable uh, bed uh, is key uh, for the dog to feel comfortable and eventually settle really well um, in the enclosure. Another important tool is to only put them in the enclosure once they have a walk or another activity or a play uh, so that they already feel a bit tired uh, uh, and stimulated so that they can easily settle. I still feed them uh, in the uh, enclosure so breakfast and dinner I give them bowls uh, in the enclosure so that they always uh, associate enclosure with a very positive uh, space and they know that they will get treats there, food, so uh, they don't see it as a um, any stressful environment. And another important thing is to use the enclosure as part of your routine so that eventually dog knows that there are times during the day when they are kept in the enclosure, like when you are out or when uh, you are busy with the dinner. Um, so that it makes easier for them to understand that yeah, now it's the a quiet time and uh, they are kept in the enclosure. Um, and currently, uh, this is not the normal time uh, when uh, they are restrained. So usually, <laughs> it's it's the time for our training session. So I didn't really expect uh, Aringa to settle because he knows that he he waits for a training session, but you can still. Uh, you can see he's still settling really well. <laughs> and once the dog feels comfortable in the bigger enclosure, the transition to crate is quite uh, easy, uh, especially as if we were doing crate training in parallel uh, with the bigger enclosure, but we didn't force the dogs in lock locking them in the crate uh, early on. So as I said, we started with the bigger enclosure and then gradually transitioned to the crate. And there are lots of videos on YouTube on crate training and crate games. Uh, so for our dogs, it was really successful and they love being in the crates.
and they run there whenever I say it's great time. Domiki, idem k Domiki. Domiki. Malatsi, good boy, maladies. Umnitsa, good boy, maladies. Good girl, maladina. What an umnitsa. Умница. Good girl. Молодцы. Вот они, умнички. Good. 